Okay, so I have this set up weird right now. I have my tripod on the floor. I didn't even say anything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I got my shower cap on. I said I was coming to this video. Um, yeah, so I fucked up my skin. I used some kind of bleaching product that just made my skin bleach out and, well, not even bleach out, but burn. I got like this thermal burn and so now I have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Let me get close to the camera so you can see. So as you can see, like, I mean, it kind of looks dry right now, but yeah, you can see it's much darker here. And then this got messed up. And then this side, like this side of my face is not too bad. You can see like this side looks pretty normal. It still has the color and it's like even tone. But this and this is like a no, no. But it was a lot worse than how it looks now on Mondays and Tuesdays like I'll put videos and stuff to show you how it looked when it was peeling and stuff but right now I'm just going to show you the routine that I use to, to clean and heal my skin as of right now and then I'm going to keep you on like this journey so I guess this is going to be episode one and we'll follow through to just watch this heal and watch this fade off because it will heal and it's already healing and this has just been like a couple days but um yeah watch this fade and watch it heal so i'm gonna wash my face so first i usually use my black soap which is right here the real black soap not shameless your black soap i also use let me get so if i don't use the black soap i either use this even tone by urban rx this is the even tone cleansing bar or i use just the regular cleansing bar um this is almost done but well, this is done right now so i'm just gonna use the regular cleansing bar and then uh sometimes i use i recently heard about or learned about oil cl oil cleansers and that's good to like clean up the imp impurities and ex exfoliate um i usually mix the rosehip seed oil with black soap but i just got this new thing from royalty cosmetics it's a brand for my cousin and she gives me a lot of my like natural skin products and this is hemp seed oil which i know like hemp seed oil is, is really good that pumpkin seed oil and rosehip seed oil is like one of the best like um carrier oils with i believe water is in this i don't know but yeah, we're gonna try these cleanse this oil cleanser out. I'm gonna use an oil cleanser and I'm gonna use um this to cleanse my face. So I double cleanse first with the oil cleanser and then with that. So before I wash my face, I always wash I'm just gonna wash my hands with my black soap. I'm gonna go now and wash my face. Wet it. Wet my face to open the pores up. Okay, right now I'm being very gentle with my face. I'm just washing in a circular motion. It's still in the healing process. So, first wash, this is with the oil cleanse. Okay, we're all washed. Now we're gonna go into the second wash, which is just the black, not black soap, but this right here, and it comes with the little pad thing. So this is like an exfoliating pad, and we're gonna get right into that one too. So with this, it comes with like this pad. So I'm just using that also in a circular motion. It's exfoliating too. It takes off the dead skin cells. So that's why I love it so much. Copy one from Urban RX. Okay, YouTube, I just wanted to give you a video of like a fresh face. Now, I know, like, my face really doesn't look that bad. Um, it has, like, the hyperpigmentation and stuff on it, but I have, like, this toolmaker mask on my shirt that I have left on before, but, um, yeah, uh, I usually put on a turmeric mask with honey and all of that right after that, but I already put one on early, so I'm not gonna do one right now, but right now I'm gonna go with moisturizing, put it on my oil and all of that, but, like, this is my face right now. Like, you guys should have seen it on Monday, but it does look a whole lot better. A whole lot better. But, yeah, we're going to do that mask. Well, not mask, but the moisturizing. I'm on my knees right now. I'm trying to do this video. Um, So, next is moisturizing. So, I keep my moisturizing and everything that I do after that pretty simple. 
I have these Urban RX. Like, as you can see, I have a lot of this brand. It's like my favorite brand. These are the Glisonic Acid Wise. It has Glisonic Acid, Salicylic Acid, Lactic Acid, as you can see. This is going to clear and even out my skin tone. I also use Shea Butter, Rose Hip Seed Oil, and uh, this Vitamin C Serum, which is almost done. And I used this this morning already, so I'm not going to use it tonight. But first, I use the Glisonic Wipes to just wipe out and try to like even out all of this skin tone like i said this side isn't too bad it's just i have like this forehead and over here but yeah just get one of these wipes it has like it's not gritty it's like it's really soft so it's not too harsh on your skin and i just wipe or just wipe it like i should have saw how my skin was before like I can't even look at old pictures because it just makes me upset that this is what I did to my skin. But it could be worse and it's healing, so, you know, I'm gonna care. So I just wipe, I wipe, 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 I, I wipe. And like I said, this is gonna be like a little series video, so I'm gonna do like a video every week. To give y'all updates to let y'all see if the products that I'm using is letting it is fading or anything. Um, okay. I then go in with the rose hip oil. The rose hip oil. I usually do like three drops. Do four is nighttime. I'm not going anywhere. I cut oil on my face. Um gives it like a nice sheen and make my skin look feel really soft and nice but also shining so I only really use this every back I had to delete some videos because my storage was full then I just go in with some shea butter and then I also use a bleaching cream to like fade these dark spots which is um it has bearberry extract, which is what I used. I used too much, and then the acid in the bearberry extract burned out my skin. Um, bearberry extract, a little bit of lemon, essential oil, lavender, and I think witch hazel or glisonic acid. One or the two, but, or glycolic. Um, yeah. And I just add, add the shea butter and the kind of oil and shine right now, but... That's what I do right now to heal. And that's what I've, I've been doing. I also take fish oil pills and vitamin E, um, vitamin E pills. So hopefully by in a month or two, this will be healed up and it won't look so crazy like how it looks today, you know. And, you know, I get the color under control. But, yeah, guys, that's it. And I will see you next time. So peace out probably next week on the, um next skincare update and let's see how it is like i was so insecure i didn't even want to leave the house because it looks so bad but it looks a lot better now but yeah